after you know 25 years in Heineken, I think that being connected is super important. You know that the uh, artificial intelligence is gonna steal, you know, our jobs, our positions. The data, the right data, it's foundation for, for everything. Welcome to our corporate podcast, where we explore passion, work, and what drives us. Meet our team, their success stories, and what sets us apart. Get ready for inspiring stories and valuable insights. Let's dive in. Meet Carolina and Michal, today's episode guests. Hey, Carolina, good morning. Hey, Michal. It's a good to start work at Boa. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's very so nice day nice today. Nice part being Heineken with such a Yes, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, what does it mean uh, for you that we are kind of, you know, best connected brewer? First of all, brewer. Brewer is someone who is brewing there. Yeah. He's always in the middle of something and making sure that the quality of product which we are preparing is at, at its best. Uh, for me, um, after you know, 25 years in Heineken, I think that being connected is super important. Being connected internally within the company so how we work together, making sure that this beautiful product is well prepared, but we need to also make sure that this beautiful product is well served to our consumers. Much appreciated, man. Cheers. Um, so it translates to digitalizing all internal functions to help them connect each other effectively, quickly, and also make sure that uh, with our external stakeholders, consumers, uh, clients, vendors, we are staying connected uh, as much as possible. Yeah, I think that for me this aspect that, you know, all the data that we are using, you know, are like updated in, you know, in real time. And for example, when I'm doing something on my, com my computer and using some kind of data, the person which is sitting, you know, on the totally par different part of the, the world is also using this data, you know, we... I, I think you, you, you get it very right, that the data, the right data, it's foundation for, for everything. Yes. Because at the end of the day, we would like to make sure that our consumers are seeing this, what they would like to see, not yes. just what we have in our databases, yes. but something that is relevant for them. Yeah, exactly. Um, and around this data, I don't know, uh, recently there is a lot of buzzword uh, around artificial intelligence. Not sure what your views yeah, on that Yeah, I see a lot of, you know, posts in different social media, you know, that the uh, artificial intelligence is going to steal our jobs, our positions, you know, no future for <laughs> humans, <laughs> let's say. But, you know, from my perspective, uh, this is intelligence, but still it's artificial. Uh, and uh, I think that, you know, this people uh, element, human, uh, is very, very uh, crucial still. Definitely, it might change a little bit the way we are working. Like, it will help uh, automate some processes, but I think that definitely we're still going to be, be needed. And uh, what is more, I feel also like it's going to encourage us to study and learn more, because definitely we need to uh, get this knowledge how to use it properly to, to be useful. I think it will take away the bartending accounting, but not the real bartending. That's my hope. Um, Adrian, I believe you still will be there. You will have a bit yeah. better information about the uh, temperature of that beer. Yeah. Information how much beer is flowing through that lovely column. Uh, but we will we'll be needing you. Yeah. We'll be needing you. Or just right, a small robot who's going to be, you know, moving oh, around okay. <laughs> there and, you know, helping you with A some. helping hand there. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And, you know, also having the really intelligent conversation with the bartender, not the artificial intelligence yes. conversation. I'll yes. try not to take it personally here. Yes. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cheers for that. So uh, you've mentioned a lot of changes in the world. So what are the changes of digital and technology here in Krakow, in, in Heineken Krakow? Where are we heading? in the next months I and years? I think our North Star is now already, and we are seeing uh, this North Star over, over the horizon, that's called digital backbone. Uh, yeah. We really need to modernize our legacy systems and make sure that we are having the, um, our e-commerce channel. So uh, via, via internet, via web pages, via mobile applications, 
we are staying close to our um, consumers and, and clients. And might sound trivial that everyone are doing that, uh, but uh, doing that for company who named uh, herself as a 156-year-old um, startup, you might deal with a couple of legacy systems, couple of legacy systems which need to be deal off in a way that uh, our vendors, stakeholders, and consumers will actually do not recognize that there is any danger or any um, risk is happening in terms of the data for the, for the business. This has to be interrupted, and at the end of the day, we would like to, with digital backbone project, uh, program actually, we would like to bring uh, even faster pace of, of, uh, of change, even better quality of the, of, of the systems, and internally, because as we discussed, Connected Brewer is a game internal and external game. So internally, it still needs to be efficient as well in terms of cost, in terms of speed, in terms of quality as well. Yeah, definitely the teams I'm currently working with right now, they are very focused on this digital backbone uh, program. So, so this is definitely our future. And I like the simplicity of the concept where we are having within this core Digital backbone, we are having core, which is really the essential uh, and must have uh, functionalities surrounding with the number of different platforms. Uh, and those platforms are giving us that agility and the um, specific needs uh, of, the, of the given functions. There is even a third circle, but uh, that to be discussed on the third year. So, yeah, a lot of things in plan. Uh, going from the legacy to the new modern thing. Hopefully the, the taste stays the same. Yeah. I'm sure about that. <laughs> but that also involves others, doesn't it? Yeah. Like it's not only digital and technology, the team that does everything. You yeah. need to somehow connect with everybody else yes. in the company. Yes. How do you do that? Yes. And for me, the, the m very important thing is to have like, you know, a skilled, you know, IT people gonna, you know, gonna do the, 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 the job properly, but also the cooperation between different uh, different uh, parts of the organization, like, you know, like this digital in technology uh, hub, and also, you know, with cooperation with finance and with business uh, itself, as we have it. Uh, I think you as a Scrum Master, Carolina, you are having excellent insight into how those teams work, and those yeah. teams are very much of them. Uh, interdisciplinary teams, so yes. not only finance, not only d and but really multifunctional. So maybe you could give us some couple of insights yes. how work within those. Yes, so we are trying, you know, to build like really cross-functional teams, you mm -hmm. know, not to have only the IT specialists, but also people from uh, many different, you know, areas, uh, because, you know, it helps everyone to, to be more effective and to achieve our goals. So, so this is definitely, you know, our our focus for coming months to build even mm. more synergy between those two worlds. And you know, yeah. I think that there is a advantage of us being in Krakow, uh, because uh, Krakow it's not just a finance or just the NT center. We are multidisciplinary center, and having uh, those different teams, different functions working together, I think is creating those synergies which are really valid. Yeah. And those synergies are really tangible. So the quality of the finance products, uh, combination of financial experts and the ANT experts is uh, giving those qualities where we might have our products which are started as a European ones, but now the are used globally by whole Heineken. So I yeah. think that's this unique ingredient coming from uh, Heineken Global Share Service in Krakow. Yeah, yeah. And I think that we also faced uh, right now a little bit, you know, the, this challenge as I think everyone uh, in the IT market, let's say that, you know, it's, it's really hard to hire the skilled, you know, IT, IT uh, specialist. And I observed this, you know, this stagnation on the IT market during the pandemic, you know, uh, I, I saw that there were not as many like job offers as previously, but, but right now I feel like we are like bouncing off uh, from, the, from the bottom and the market is again like very, very dynamic. So, so this is, you know, a challenge that we need to also face. But when I'm thinking about myself, when I started my career here in Kainiken and actually before when I was hired here, so what convinced me to, 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 to came here was the training, you know, budget. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because uh, I've experienced that, you know, we invest a lot in people and, you know, in their development. So for me, mm, it was something like really, really great that I have, you know, this, this extra funds that can be spent on very good trainings, you know. When you came to the bar, I was mm -hmm. expecting, you know, regular IT people, like wearing checkered shirts <laughs> and, you know, being you nerdy and so on and so forth. Is that a stereotype that you can actually um, say is not true? Hmm. If you like to find those stereotypes, you could always find yeah. them. Yeah. But uh, if you will take a bit broader look, uh, I think we are just regular engineers, uh, regular people, uh, like within any other function. You might also have those stereotypes, you know, about the finance people or the salespersons. Uh, so I will not stick to the, towards those um, stereotypes yes, that and much. I also do not perceive our like employees, like IT uh, employees, as a regular developers. I would say, for me, they are more like engineers. You know, like skilled engineers who are doing their job. So maybe not as much about stereotypes in this. Th that, that, that's a good one. Yeah. But uh, with our plan development, it might come a time that we will have our developers working with us yeah. as well. But indeed, you are very right, Karolina. So far, we are rather consuming technology yes. together with the business than creating that technology. Yes. But with all our development planet, it might come into play as well. Yes. And still, we need like a skilled, you know, engineers, you mm. know, to And to then I will hired. ask you again, Adrian, about the stereotypes, you know, because then yeah. we evolve, we will change once more. Yeah. yeah. I know traditionally, people would perceive IT people or digital and technology people as male, you know, nerdy sometimes scruffy, mm -hmm. um, but in Heineken I, I've seen something different. Well, we have Carolina here, but she's not the only representative of, of, of females mm -hmm. in, in your teams. Uh, is it something special for Heineken or is it a, a trend that goes globally? I think it's globally and it has something to do with Heineken because with Heineken, like recently, we we're having that uh, beautiful event in our bar. Our company band was playing and half of that band uh, are the anti colleagues. So um, we are like to play and uh, have a social events as well. Um, demographics, if you will mm -hmm. help me, Karina, I think more than 30% yes. of colleagues are females. Yes, yes. Uh, but um, diversity within the team, we, we praise diversity because if you would like to have a creative teams coming with different ideas, it yes. starts with diversity. Yes. Uh, but uh, that diversity needs to come from the different fields. That's my personal belief. So that's why within our team, only 85% of us are Polish speaking colleagues, 15% are foreigners. Yes, I ha have also a team I'm working with right now and uh, they were mainly uh, guys. And you know, yeah. after some time, you know, two girls joined the team and I started to observe a totally different dynamic within the team. So this is, you know, a really added value of having, you know, the diversity. Or maybe the even team. age, yeah? I yes. think average age within our team is like 33, 34, yes. something. But that means that we are having a lot of colleagues in their 20s, but also col more colleagues in my age after uh, 50s as well. Yes. And that is, I think, right to really balance where you might learn from each other. Not always necessarily that this older person is sitting that this younger, uh, very often opposite as well, so different dynamics uh, within the teams. Uh, it definitely and that's giving that, I think, nice yeah. spice to work yeah. together. Yeah. Definitely yeah. abolishes the, the stereotype, another stereotype that old people don't go al get along with technology well. Yeah, Thank like, you. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> so there's no division into boomers or mm -hmm. alphas. Nobody's too old or too young to... Come on, jump. within the, the team you are either a good pl team player or not, or an, uh, you are a good engineer or not. And that's what's defining you within the team. Uh, during the working hours and after working hours as well, uh, I didn't ask anyone uh, or put that special task to, you know, create that band and join that band. That's happened because people, colleagues, would like to have it. That's great. I mean, it's good that you also go I would say interdisciplinary. Don't focus on, on this and that in your area, but go beyond. Because I've noticed that, well, you've talked about specialists before. In, in digital and technology, it's not only about this technology that you need to be proficient at, but also you get people who have some uh, finance knowledge 
or knowledge about how other um, functions work and operate. Yeah, you've mentioned that. That's why I think that is really important that this message about connected brewer it's authentic yeah. because we know that without these connections internally, externally, and also there across our no platforms, chance, yeah. nothing will fly. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So this is definitely something that we are really focused on. And okay, so I'm looking forward to uh, more achievements and your department expanding. I'm also hoping for our colleagues from the digital and technology department to join this great facility and enjoy our great products. And for now, thank you so much for being here and enjoying some of our golden brew. Uh, looking forward to our next meeting. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Cheers. 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 And some Cheers. coffee for me.